This is Daniel Poppy, host of How to Write Good. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. This is Julianne Condia, host of Rewritten, here on Public House Media. Thank you so much for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you are done with this episode, I hope you'll come check out my show, Rewritten, where we will talk about you having limitless potential and can rewrite your story at any time. No matter your background, your past, or current situation, you can have the type of life you crave. A new show comes out every single Monday. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you never miss an episode of Rewritten. Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. Where did you ever get the idea that self-care was selfish? I don't know about you, but I know when I practice self-care, a lot of other people benefit from the situation a lot more than I do. There's an old belief out there that keeps us from getting what we need. When you put yourself last for other people's sake, resentment always follows. Your relationships become an obligation instead of joy. You're recognizing that you may not be taking care of yourself is the first step. So there's a 12-step program out there that's all about a powerful acronym called HALT, H-A-L-T, which stands for don't get too hungry, angry, lonely, or tired. Being sick applies because not being not feeling well messes with your emotions too. If you're finding yourself reacting more than usual, HALT. That might be the problem. You might be in a place where you need more self-care, where you need to feed yourself, you need to find some happy, you need to find some community, or you need to get some sleep. HALT is a great reminder to do a quick spot check for your self-care, and with all of the things out there that are going on in our life and all the negativity that's surrounding us everywhere, it's a great way to just feel yourself and get back out of whack and into a positive state of mind. Good morning. Welcome to Public House Media. That was kind of a long entry, more than a typical. Um, but welcome to Public House Media. Welcome to Choose Your Rise. I'm so glad that you're here with me this morning. Today we're going to be talking about self-care, as always, here on Choose Your Rise. Because my ultimate goal is to help you rise up out of your current struggles and live your best life. And one of the best ways to do that is to concentrate on your self-care. I'm going to give you seven reasons today that uh, you should be practicing self-care and seven kind of tips or tricks to kind of help you get moving and get grooving and have take practice good self-care in your life. So number one is meet physical needs first, sleep and healthy food, M- making sure that you're moving your body, that you are taking care of the one soul, the one body that you get in this life. You know, you know, there is amazing medical um, things that we can do to kind of strengthen our body or to repair our body, but we only get one of them. And so if you are trashing your body, if you are you know, not getting enough sleep so it can repair itself, if you're not fueling it with good food, if you're not you know, taking care of it by moving it and making sure all its muscles and its organs and all the stuff working is working well, you're not necessarily taking care of yourself. And if you're not doing that, you can't take of other, care of other people well. When you're sick, when you're tired, when you're hungry, Angry, when you're angry, a lot of other people feel those effects as well, especially if you're a mom like me. And so, you know, when you can take care of yourself, you are not only ensuring that you are going to be standing here in the long haul, but you're also ensuring that the other people in your life are going to get the best of you as well. And don't they deserve that? The second thing on the list is don't others distract you from your needs. You know, this can happen in a lot of ways. You know, there's dishes to be done. There's laundry to do. There's, you know, maybe you wanted to sleep in because your kids were up in the middle of the night. Uh, Maybe you had a long weekend because you were doing other things or somebody wants to invite you to go do something instead of getting a workout in or instead of, you know, doing what you need to do. Or they offer you lots of treats or alcohol or lots of things at a party instead of knowing that you can eat within your means and stay in, in a positive direction with your health and nutrition. Don't let others distract you from your needs. You know what you need to do. You know what you want to accomplish in this life and your goals may not be the same as somebody else's goals and that's okay. The third tip I have for you is give yourself permission to say no. 
it's okay to say no to the extra treats. It's okay to say no to um, staying up late. It's okay to say no to the things that are gonna keep you from going towards your goals. When you have something that you want to achieve, whether it's in a professional, whether it's physical, whether it's you know mental, emotional, whether it's in a relationship, however, whatever goals you have in life, give, your, give yourself permission to say no to the things that are gonna distract you from going in those directions. The fifth, fourth one for you, is find ways to make exercise fun. I have a ton of fun in my workouts and I, I often try to not do something that's not fun um, because when it's not fun, it becomes work. And when we work at something, yes, we have gain to it, but it's just not as enjoyable. So why not do something that you enjoy that is, is a pleasure for you to do and is, uh, is gonna help you get com- strong and confident in the process. So we have a, an amazing, uh, kind of push play service that's kind of like the netflix of fitness uh we kind of joke about it being uh, but there's so many options like i love to lift weights so i do things that have lifting weights every day if you follow my choose to rise page you you see that or you, you're following me on my social media um, you you see me working out all the time and it's because i i really learned to love it i used to think of exercise as like a punishment or something of like if I had to do, um, if I ate bad, I needed to go work out again. Or if I, you know, working out was to just lose the weight. It wasn't to like, because I like to do it. Uh, but now I love doing it because I found things that I love doing. I was a runner in college. I am no longer a runner. Um, it's just not something that I enjoy doing anymore. And it just seems like work. It seems like um, it's just not enjoyable for me. So I don't do it. Um, find ways to make exercise fun. Find, join a group of accountability people. People, find a, maybe a class if you really like to be pushed in in a ways with people around you. Um, it's super fun. I, we had a weekend this. The, if you, again, if you follow me, you've seen that uh, we had a, a event this weekend. Um, we called Super Saturday, and uh, there were 60 plus people in the room. And I would just find myself like I push myself hard in my own workouts here in my own home with my husband and and whatnot. But like. When there are more people in the room, I definitely go all in. I love like connecting with somebody and pushing each other. So we were doing uh, side to side shuffles and I just like got with a girl and I was like, all right, let's go. And like we just matched each other's pace and that was fun. Like it was it was good to get into that. And we know we both went harder because of it. Number five prioritize self-care before doing favors. So when your to-do list starts to fill up, when your schedule starts to get going, a lot of people will say, yeah, I can do that for you and put it on their calendar without making sure that their things are being taken care of first. When I look at my schedule for the day and I have a team of people um, or clients that are that need my attention or friends that need my support and help, I always look at where what is on my calendar and what's there for me and for my own self-care, my own business, my own needs, and then how can I fit them into the rest of it. Prioritizing your own self-care before doing favors for others makes sure that you are a priority in your life because if as soon as you start prioritizing other people's things, your self-care gets pushed to the side and then that's when we get back to that halt method and we get all out of whack. Number six, develop a spiritual practice to enjoy the moment. I don't know about you, but when there's gratitude in my attitude, I have a lot more fun in the day. I have a lot more peace in my heart and I have a lot more joy going on all around me. I'm able to spread more joy. I'm able to be happier and just do more in my life that is a good thing. So develop a spiritual practice to enjoy the moment, whether it's when you come across something that makes you smile, just saying a thank you, God, whether it's diving into your devotion and starting your mind off on the right thing every single morning. Maybe it's, you know, you have certain times or alarms on your phone that are going off during the day and reminding you to be grateful or reminding you to look for joy or reminding you to say a prayer or connecting with people, um, you know, via online or in person or in a small group, whatever it might be that helps you enjoy life and helps you live life in a positive way. And the seventh one I have for you this morning is let yourself do these imperfectly. No one is going to do any of this stuff perfectly. No one here on earth is perfect. There was one person that was perfect in this world and we hung him on a cross because we thought that he'd done us wrong, but he took all of our sins with him and we are, it's totally okay to not be perfect. It's totally okay to make mistakes. It's where we learn from and it's where we get more of our guidance from. So it's okay to not do things perfectly in this world and it's okay to um, really make sure that you are going forward in a way that's going to help you be your absolute best life. 
putting your own needs first isn't selfish. Ironically, you can get way, give way more because you are taking care of yourself, because you're doing more in your life that's gonna help you um, be a more positive person, be a healthier person, be a stronger person, so that you can do more for others. Once your own needs are met and you're happy to you know, be who you are, that's when you can give more and you can start um, being more of who you want to be so that you can give more to other people. I hope that you have gotten something out of this little uh, short burst today of t- self-care tips and that you let yourself be imperfect, that you develop a spiritual practice to enjoy the moment, that you prioritize your self-care before doing favors for others, you find a way to make exercise fun because we only get one body and we only um, are going to be able to do things in this in this life on your own one time. I hope that you give your permission, give yourself permission to say no to those that um, are you know, taking the time away from your priorities and that you don't let others distract you from your needs, that you keep going um, in a way that's going to help you keep going towards your own goals and that you meet your physical needs first, your sleep and your and healthy food. And then always remember, if you get to a point where you are feeling like you are hungry, you are tired, you are angry, you are um, lonely, that HALT method, I'd say those out of order, hungry, angry, lonely, tired, HALT, stop, Start taking care of yourself and you'll be able to treat yourself better. You'll be able to treat others better because you've taken the time to practice your own self-care and taken the time to make sure that you have enough to give other people. All right. Thanks for joining me this morning. Welcome to Public House Media. Welcome to Choose to Rise if this is your first time. What I would really love for you to do is hit to the go to the little share button in the bottom corner of this screen if you're on Facebook or the three little buttons, um, three little dots on a podcast and share this with someone else that needs to hear this today. Um, Come back and subscribe to Public House Media here on the Facebook page or in the podcast. And I would love for you to be able to come back here and check out all the other shows but specifically choose to rise as well. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. And if you are ever interested in practicing self-care needs, if you have tips or tricks that you want to drop below this video, that would be amazing. If you ever need help with any of those things, I'm here to support you as well because that's my ultimate goal to help you rise up out of your current situation and live your best life. So thanks so much for joining this morning. I hope you have a fantastic Monday and a great